just down the end of my road you get this bus stop that I'm sitting in at the moment always looks at it as a bus stop just not until you grow up a bit and you start seeing it a bit more, seeing a bit of life you start realising for some it's actually sheltered accommodation last night I went out got speaking to a couple of these homeless folk who were making their beds for the night sat down, had a chat there they are with their smokes and their alcohol not causing anyone any bother and uh, started speaking to them how they get by, how they make ends meet and he was this one bloke was telling me well he begs, he borrows and he steals and it just walked away from the situation and I uh, started thinking a bit and started looking into begging a bit and saw there's these laws that might be impl implemented at the moment that making it an outlaw that you try and stop begging, make it so you're getting on the stop bot fine for begging. It just made me think, well if you were in that situation you've obviously got these habits maybe a drug habit to go with it all you're going to want to do is beg but is it right? and I, in the past I've normally walked by as someone's asked me for some spare change in the street but if you've got no money coming in the way things are at the moment it's hard for everyone out there how do you stop something like this? Or is it just the way it is? I mean, I've got a dog back at home. You sit to sit down for your dinner. He comes up looking for a bit of food, and you just tell him to bugger off. Is that how you deal with the situation, or is it more com complex?